We get rid of the last vestige of the old idea that there is a deity whose will it is that you should be poor, or whose purposes may be served by keeping you in poverty. The intelligent substance which is all, and in all, and which lives in all, and lives in you, is a consciously living substance. Being a consciously living substance, it must have the nature and inherent desire of every living intelligence for increase of life. Every living thing must continually seek for the enlargement of its life, because life, in the mere act of living, must increase itself. A seed, dropped into the ground, springs into activity, and in the act of living produces a hundred more seeds. Life, by living, multiplies itself. It is forever becoming more. It must do so if it continues to be at all. Intelligence is under the same necessity for continuous increase. Every thought we think makes it necessary for us to think another thought. Consciousness is continually expanding. Every fact we learn leads us to the learning of another fact. Knowledge is continually increasing. Every talent we cultivate brings to the mind the desire to cultivate another talent. We are subject to the urge of life, seeking expression, which ever drives us on to know more, to do more, and to be more. In order to know more, do more, and be more, we must have more. We must have things to use, for we learn, and do, and become, only by using things. We must get rich, so that we can live more. The desire for riches is simply the capacity for larger life seeking fulfillment. Every desire is the effort of an unexpressed possibility to come into action. It is power seeking to manifest which causes desire. That which makes you want more money is the same as that which makes the plant grow. It is life seeking fuller expression. The one living substance must be subject to this inherent law of all life. It is permeated with the desire to live more. That is why it is under the necessity of creating things. The one substance desires to live more in you, hence it wants you to have all the things you can use. It is the desire of God that you should get rich. He wants you to get rich, because he can express himself better through you if you have plenty of things to use in giving him expression. He can live more in you if you have unlimited commands of the means of life. The universe desires you to have everything you want to have. Nature is friendly to your plans. Everything is naturally for you. Make up your mind that this is true. It is essential, however, that your purpose should harmonize with the purpose that is in all. You must want real life, not mere pleasure of sensual gratification. Life is the performance of function, and the individual really lives only when he performs every function, physical, mental and spiritual, of which he is capable, without excess in any. gratification of animal desires, that is not life, but the performance of every physical function is a part of life, and no one lives completely who denies the impulses of the body a normal and helpful expression. You do not want to get rich solely to enjoy mental